In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating fourth Sunday of Lent. Today we are called to have inner light. Jesus is giving sight to the blind person. And he was asking him to give sight. And he received. The same way. We need sight. Not the physic physical sight, but the inner light. So that we can see God and we can see others, our neighbors. For this intention, we have to pray, and today we pray for all the people who are affected by coronavirus. And today, people, they are not allowed to go out. Because in this situation, we are living, and we are not able to attend the normal masses and we pray for all of you in this mass so that this disease can go away and we will live our normal and regular life. In order to celebrate this holy Eucharistic mystery in a holy manner, let's acknowledge our failures and ask Lord for pardon and strength. I confess, Almighty God, unto you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Lord, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way. Grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book, first book of Samuel, chapter 16, verses 1 and 6 to 7 and 10 to 13. The Lord said to Samuel, Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesus, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided myself a king among his sons. When they came, he looked at Eliba and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him, for the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. And Jesus made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesus, The Lord has not chosen Jesus. And Samuel said to Jesus, All your sons are here. And he said, There remains at the youngest. But behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesus, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. And he sent and brought him. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from day onward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to receive my drooping spirit. Your response? The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valleys of darkness, no evil would I fear. Your response? The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed me with oil. My cup is overflowing. Your response? The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Your response? The Lord is my shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall, shall want. want. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 8 to 14. Once you were in darkness, but you were the light in the Lord. Walk as the children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of the darkness, but instead expose them.
For it is a shame even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by the light, it becomes visible for anything. That becomes visible is light. Therefore, it is said, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the death, and Christ shall give you light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We are reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 9, verses from 1 to 41. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sent this man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus answered, it was not that this man sinned, or his parents, but the works of God might be made manifest in him. We must work the works of him who sent me, while it is day. Night comes when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As he said this, he spat on the ground and made clay of a spike spittle and anointed the man's eyes with the clay, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means saint. So he went and washed and came back seeing. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar said, Is not this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is he. Others said, No, but he is like him. He said, I am the man. They said to him, then how were well your eyes opened? He answered, The man called Jesus, made clay, and alighted my eyes, and said to me, Go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been blind. Now it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. The Pharisees again asked him how he had received his sight. And he said to them, He put the clay on my eyes. And I washed, and I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a man who is a sinner do such signs? There was a division among them. So they again said to the blind man, What do you say about him? Since he has opened your eyes, he said, He is a prophet. The Jews did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight. Until they called the parents of the man who had received his sight and asked them, Is this your son, who you say was born blind? 
How then does he know, now see? His parents answered, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But how he now sees, we do not know, nor do we know who opened his eyes. Ask him, he is of age. He will speak for himself. His parents said this because they feared Jews. For the Jews had already agreed that if anyone should confess him to be Christ, he was to be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, He is of age, ask him. So for the second time they called the man who had been blind and said to him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner, he answered. Whether he is a sinner, I do not know. One thing I know, that though I was blind, now I see. They said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I have told you already, and you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you too want to become his disciples? And they reviled him, saying, You are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses. But as for this man, we do not know where he comes from. The man answered, Why this is a mar marvel? You do not know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to sinners, but if anyone is a worshipper of God and does his will, God listens to him. Never since the world began has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a man born blind. If this man were not from God, he could not do nothing. They answered him, You were born in utter sin, and would you teach us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and having found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, And who is he? Sir, that I may believe in him. Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and it is he who speaks to you. He said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Jesus said, For judgment I came into this world, that those who do not see may see, and that those who see may become blind. Some of the Pharisees near him heard this, and they said to him, Are we also blind? Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would have no guilt. But now that you say, we see, your guilt remains. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, once there was a blind man. He went to visit his friend. They were talking. As they were talking, it was very dark. So, the friend told to the blind person, My friend, this is very dark. You cannot go to your home. You stay tonight and tomorrow morning you can leave. The blind person told his friend, My friend, already I am in darkness. I cannot see anything. So for me, there is no difference between 
द डे एंड द नाइट सो आई वॉन्ट टू गो माई होम द फ्रेंड टोल ओके यू कैन गो बट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू पीपल मे कम एंड दे कैन हिट यू सो टेक ऑन लैम आई गिव यू यू गैन गो so the blind person took a lamb and he was going on in front of him a man came and without knowing he dashed on the blind person the blind person told did you not see that i was carrying a lamb the opponent person told hello you did not carry the lamp because what you carry it was already off that's why i did not see you so that time only he realized that he did not see the lamp it was lighting or it was off yes my dear friends those who don't have the sightness to see people they hit on others but even those who have so called the people who have sight they also hit on others because they think that they are seeing the people today jesus is giving sight to the blind person who was blind who was born blind and he was this blind person he was asking he was longing for his sightness and he had the desire to see again that's why he requested jesus and he was able to see again but the so called the people the pharisees they were all the time finding fault even whatever he was doing the good things this pharisees always they were finding fault with jesus but they were having their own eyes and they were able to see but they were so blind jesus is telling i am the light of the world you can see again i can give you light in this world there was nobody who were very dare to tell i am the light of the world i am the son of god there are no nobody but jesus he was able to say because he is the son of god we have to believe we have to believe in him we have to ask sight from jesus so in this situation in this uh, globalization we are all affected because of this corona virus we have to ask jesus to heal us we ask continuously if we pray continuously jesus will give salvation jesus will give he heal will redeem us from this sinful situation he will give life normal life again only thing we have to believe only thing we have to ask and he will all this give us whatever we are in need so with this faith let us participate and let us pray continuously so that we will see again the world once again i believe in god the, the father almighty the creator of heaven and earth and i believe in jesus christ is one the son of god who was conceived by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary suffered and was crucified was crucified died and was buried he descended to the hell and the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of god the almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins and the life everlasting amen
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this friend we offer fruits of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the wine, cup of the joy. This will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted on Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept your sacrifice at your name. hands for us praise the glory of His name and for the glory of our church. We place before you with joy these offerings, which bring eternal remedy, O Lord. Pray that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as it, it is fitting for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn. They may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without him we are claimed. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, the Lord of power and might, heaven and earth is full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them as a dear fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take hey, this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when he was he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples, saying, Take hey, this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. He is Lord. He, he is Lord. Lord. He has risen from the death and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ. 
greatest Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with branches of Pope, Nidhi Nadan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Louis Gunalla, and all the saints who have pleased throughout the ages, we may merit to be called the eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Our kingdom, the, the power, power and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you, look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, our gracious grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, fully and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer this side of peace. Lamp of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace, O Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but what we say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the glory of your Christ be with the lost in your heart.
Let us pray. O oh God, who enlightened everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty. I love you in all sincerity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass is in them. Thanks be to God. My dear friends in Christ, let us continue to pray for the people who are affected by this coronavirus. And also let us protect ourselves, take precautions and be in your house and take all kinds of precautions to prevent from this disease. We pray for each other. Let us continue to pray. Have a nice day.